Hi, this is Scott Garibay. Count it all joy, brothers and sisters of the Icosahedron. Uh, we are in an extremely uh, just joyful moment right now. I am five days away from seeing Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I could not be more happy. I'm really excited. Uh, and it is just a joyful time. And I'm really so excited to expend, to be spending this time with you. Uh, counting down the days to uh, to the Dungeons and Dragons cinematic universe. Uh, reviews are coming out. They are absolutely fantastic. That's not the subject of this video. I want to get right to the subject of this video. Uh, sorry for the delay there. Uh, so basically, uh, today what I want to talk... I, I have figured it out. I have figured out the mystery of why um, Kelsey Dion has defeated every single uh, OSR creator and now is the front you know, is the front and center leader of the entire OSR movement. And every OSR creator, bow down. You got a new leader, man. You're like, you, you're you all, you, and, and you could see it, man. I got a list. Check out the list below in my description. There are over 60, I think it's 16 creators now who are, who have, who have covered Shadow Dark RPG and are just bowing the knee saying the OSR belongs to Kelsey Dion, in my humble opinion. Right, and it, and the OSR, like, literally, you know, it's a collection of grognards. All they do is complain. Right, the complaints are gone, and it's just a, a massive coalescing, and a, a you know, a, just a conga line of support for one game. And and it seems like the future of the OSR is all under Kelsey Dion's Arcane uh, Shadow Dark RPG, uh, under the Arcane Library Company, and under. Uh, Kelsey Dion's uh, brave leadership of the OSR, right? And uh, so, and I will tell you right now, the OSR is like, what's happening? Wait, wait, what? Why do we have a new leader? What the heck happened? Why did, you know, one person, you know, coalesce the entire OSR behind her and all of us, like all our games, which are very, you know, which we felt were better, got zero attention from the OSR or anyone else or, and certainly not the D&D community, but even the Dungeons & Dragons. I'm a D&D advocate, right? And I'm paying attention to Shadow Dark RPG. What, what, what do I get? What do I get out of Shadow Dark RPG? What's the benefit to me from the Shadow Dark RPG? That's a good question. You know what I want from Kelsey Dion? You know why I'm here and covering her in depth? Because I want something real specific from Kelsey Dion. I want Dungeons & Dragons to have a real competitor. And the reason why is I know the value of it. Right, so what is the value of of a real competitor? Well, Dunkin's a donut. Dun Dunkin' Donuts. They Dunkin' now. They they just go by Dunkin'. Um, they used to go by Dunkin' Donuts, uh, but Dunkin' uh, they had no real competitors and they sucked. Right, like, and then basically uh, Krispy Kreme came up and it scared the living behoogles out of them, and they fixed the problem. And they they actually like, oh man, we better fix this, and they did. They fixed a whole lot of product problems. And, you know, and so I want Dungeons and Dragons to have a real competitor. I don't want to see them defeated, but I want them to have a real competitor. It's healthy, right? I'm an American capitalist. I know, I know how the market works, right? And, um, so that's what I want from Kelsey Dion, right? So, so there's this huge mystery and there's a lot of OSRs talking, OSR creators talking about this and saying, why did this person, why is Kelsey Dion now the leader of the OSR? Right, the cultural and commercial lead, the cultural leader of the OSR. She's not commercial leader yet, right? Probably Pathfinder is the commercial leader. Jason Bullman is the commercial leader of the OSR, right? And so um, with Pathfinder, right? Um, and probably Pathfinder One. I'm not sure Pathfinder Two even outsells Pathfinder One. You could tell me if you think it does. I don't think it does, right? Um, kind of interesting subject there. All right. So why did Kelsey Dion? nail it. How, how do we arrive here? What happened? Right? So I think it's threefold. Okay. Why is Kelsey Dion the leader of the, o, the cultural leader of the OSR today? Okay. Here's why luck there. That's, that's just one part. It's not, a, you know, and actually don't take it out of order. It's not the most important. It's just the one that came to my head first luck. She had a finished game that was be able that was able to be presented the second, the 2023 OGL crisis, the 2023 Manic Panic finished. That is super important to understand, right? Like, because everybody who came before that, nobody cares, right? You're like, you already had a chance to defeat D&D. &D. You didn't. 
Oh, and now you're going to put another pancake. You're going to go like White Box is, is going from White Hack. White Hack is going to 4E. Who cares? D&D handed White Hack 1E, 2E, 3E its butt. Nobody, like, what? It, it was not a competitor. It didn't have fangs. It didn't have claws. Thanks. Thank you, duck. Nobody cares. You, nobody cares. Nobody thinks that for one minute, White Hack 4E is going to defeat D&D, right? Especially when you, we saw Iteration 1, 2, and 3, right? But Shadow Dark RPG is brand new, right? Undefeated in any form, right? There was a bit of luck in that timing, too, okay? Kelsey Dion is Hollywood ready, right? Uh, who are, let me let me talk about two OSR creators, right? So uh, King Watchman here over on Total Party Skills. He's a OSR creator. He wrote an OSR game, published that OSR game, continues to publish that OSR game to this day, right? So I watched one of his videos, right? And uh, he br it brings up, and I see it, see the background. Like you look in the background, right? Oh, you know what? Uh, oh yeah, yeah uh, actually, I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. She's hot. Uh, uh, actually. Yeah, she's Hollywood ready, okay? Which, like, King Washbenator. Um, you know, we don't even need to go, yeah, okay. Let me, she's Hollywood ready, right? Many of the other, uh, let's move on from King Washbenator for a minute. I'll get back to him. Uh, she's Hollywood ready. Most other OSR creators are basement trolls. <laughs> Just, like, they completely live up to the idea of what an OSR creator would be. Uh, and... Um, Kelsey Dion defies every single t stereotype of the um, of the OSR creator, right? Like, I just did, and you could tell like Hollywood is going to love to get a hold of her to interview her and get her ideas, and she is she is what they are looking for on the other side of the, of an interview, right? Whereas every other OSR creator that I know. They they one hundred percent run headlong into every single, um, you know, horrible uh, uh, stereotype. They, they they fully deliver the stereotype, right? Like, and so she's Hollywood ready, right? Here's the last part. This is the point of this video. This is thank you very much. Uh, last point of this video. It took me seven minutes to get to the point. I'm sorry. You guys are so patient. I try. All right, but I'm, I'm kind of, you know, my 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 um, videos are iterative, and I kind of, you know, think for a, you know a few days, and I get to. Here's the last part. Kelsey Dion, Arcane Libraries, Shadow Dark RPG, OSR creator Kelsey Dion, is the first OSR creator to fully embrace the concept that presentation matters. Okay, now let's talk about King Waspinator. King Waspinator, OSR creator, right? Kelsey Dion, OSR creator. Here's why. Kelsey Dion went one, and King Waspinator, I don't even remember the name of his OSR game, right? Here's why. So, uh, King Waspinator, right? He does a video, right? And I look in the background, and he's got a picture of the, I think it's, I think it's the, um, I think it's the title of one of his games, right? And it's got a very problematic word. Boom! Right? Like, right on the poster, right? Like, it's like, X, problematic word, right? And it's clear he, you know, for him, this world does. He he laughs and jokes about this word. For other people, this word is a huge part of their identity, and there's no jokes attached, right? And so, you know, this is like a really big deal. Where, um, like, like there's a needle scratch the second you see him on screen, right? From his home, from his just his office, right? He's got highly problematic posters behind him, you know, with with words that other people take very serious, and to him is a joke, right? Kelsey Dion, right? <laughs> I just watched one of her videos, right? She did uh, pro you know, pro tips for, you know, Shadow Dark Art GM, right? And um, it was really fascinating because she's like, you look at her and she's like dead on center on uh, on the um, on the camera, right? Uh, and, you know, that's another one. Like King Waspinger puts himself in black and white. Like, <laughs> like, she's in full color, dead center, right? And, and the other thing, and um, like... Her, she's wearing a black um, sweatshirt, not a hoodie sweatshirt, right? Whereas King Waspinator often wears a hoodie. The exact stereotype of what you know, you, yeah, you know, didn't show up for work, you know, like, like you know, you're not even hitting business casual, right? So she's wearing. This is very important, right? A black sweatshirt, which is like, it's it's the messed up hair that was carefully messed up, not not blown in the wind. You know, you're like, it's the, 
It's that, ah, oh, I'm here and I'm just going to do this video and let's have, you know, let's have fun with this. But you're like, this is incredibly calculated, right? So like her black sweatshirt is blank. There's nothing on it, right? Behind her is her studio apartment that looks like it's straight out of Orange County, California, right? Spotless. Every bit cleaned up, right? coffee table with coffee table book perfectly askew right like everything calculated and and a blurred picture on the wall that is completely non-offensive it's radio music right and every and that's the point presentation matters she's bringing an osr game the same way king waspinator is but she is paying attention to everything in the frame and she is controlling the frame and she's and this is what Kelsey Dion figured out that no one, no one in the else in the OSR space did. Presentation matters, right? Dungeons and Dragons. They're like, no, 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 no. Like this is this is twenty twenty three. No black and white art, right? Two hundred fifty six pages. Oh, and you remember those floppy you know modules from the old days? Get that crap out of here. This is twenty twenty three, right? Just hardbacks, just 256 pages, right? All color, writing tight as a drum, layout tight as a drum, best in the world, right? Presentation matters, right? Todd Kenrick, right? They go, they put somebody on screen, tight as a drum. They got the D and D, you know, posters in the background. They got like, you know, every, you know, it's tight, right? Like, you know, mat, you know, presentation matters presentation of your person, presentation of the background, presentation of the product, presentation matters. And this is why the OSR has gotten crushed. And this is why Kelsey Dion is showing up and wrecking every OSR fool creator. Because she's like, oh yeah, I know you made a game, but you didn't show up for work. You're not in business casual, right? And that's the issue, right? She's like, presentation matters. She is the only OSR creator who realizes presentation matters. Every OSR creator, I could show up in a hoodie, I can have offensive pe posters in the background, I can, you know, it doesn't matter. All that matters is the rules. All that matters is the rules. No fool, no. Presentation matters. Kelsey Dion understands this and is wrecking every cre OSR creator in the space saying, no y'all, the energy doesn't stop with the game the presentation's just as important. And she's the chef. Okay, so OSR is like, uh, here's your lamb, I threw it on a plate, right? She's the chef who finally comes out and says, sir, this is your, or madam, sir and madam, this is your uh, your lamb. You'll see there's mint jelly on the side. Uh, and then and she puts it down in there like, oh my gosh, the drizzle is the same logo as the restaurant we arrived in. Oh, and also, um, you know, like there's a garnish presentation matters. And Kelsey Dion is the first OSR creator in the space to show up and show out and actually realize it's not just the rules. And this is why OSR gets defeated again and again and again. They all think all that matters is the rules. And they're 100% wrong. It's presentation as well. Kelsey Dion gets that and she's going to continue to wreck every fool in the space until anybody else figures this out. And Ben from Questing Beast, yeah, you know, he might have done it. I think he's very similar to her. He didn't have the timing, right? And I think he lacked one other thing. All that's my humble opinion. What's really important is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.